the Wolf Industries headquarters, where the factory staff had their office, where my father used to slave away. It's in this awful building that his lifeless body was found. A bookcase covering his chest. The collected works of Da Vinci accompanied him in eternal rest. Early that Thursday morning, Hawker set up stalls and goods. When word of his death reached the market and a friend of father was summoned to bring the bad news to the woods. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. crumpled so easily. Granny's healing potions attracted crowds from near and far, as did Mother's smile. She loved the market, the smell, the noise. My, how she was courted by the bravest of Ulrika's boys. Until one of them crossed the line, and Granny decided to keep her from the city. She was a vision. My memories of her have faded, but I still remember my mother. Very, very pretty. <laughs> Aha! My carriage awaits. Once again, my trusty axe comes in handy. Looks like time stood still here. The smell of old books, pencils, and ink stains on the floor. That's my father, for sure. Father spoke in drawings, more often than in words. Charcoal was his mother tongue. He sketched the most beautiful stories I've ever heard. Grace, what is she doing here? With no mother to tuck me in, it was this tiny woman who stood by my bed and lulled me to sleep. Father made her in 22 days, my thumb-sized piece of comfort. I named her Grace. I'd forgotten all about her. She used to protect me from imaginary monsters. I hope she works her magic on real ones, too. 
father's notes, scattered and fragmented, like his mind often was. Pinocchio, you rascal. I tell your story night after night. If only my little girl knew how much you and I are alike. Living a life with many strings attached and an ever-growing nose to pay our dues. If only we could cut the cords. Am I a creator if what I create destroys? Is a toy still a toy on the devil's playground? It pays the bills. It feeds my child, but it kills. Innocent people and me on the inside. Oh, Father, what dark thoughts wandered through your bright mind. Dear Mr. Wolf, after careful consideration, I've decided to resign from my function at Wolf Industries. I hereby give you my two weeks' notice. Sincerely, Joseph R. Hood. So Father quit? I didn't have a clue. Wolf must have really screwed his mind, if only we knew. But wait. The letter's date. That's when Father died. Is that what I think it is? Did my father do what I think he did? He told me he designed toys. Well, this is hardly suitable for little girls and boys. Father, did these tin cadets, whom I've slaughtered by the dozen, originate from your mind? This can't be true. This isn't you. This is not you. I came here looking for clues, but now I'm even more confused. I need some air. Damn! So much for going unnoticed. Change of plan. Let's play. Catch me if you can.